Hello everybody, hope we're all good. Big shout out to KR Couriers and Transport Limited and a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Nothing podcast with myself, Billy Moore. Okay, so I'm heading into town to have a little chat with a few people I've met over the years and see how they're getting on. Thought I'd bring a little bit of something different to the platform. So yeah, let's have a little chat with Kevin, see how life is for him. Here I am with Kevin. Kevin's just on the streets and he's waiting to go into rehab. Tell us what's going on, Kev. Ah, uh, just trying. I'm in, I'm in doors and all that. But the drugs fucking got to me bad. You know, I'm just waiting to go to rehab now down Bournemouth. Get my own place. That's living down there. Just want to stay down there. Do you think, do you think I've it... done rehab three times in Rice. That crocs are told. No do you, good. But do you reckon, right, seriously, right, do you reckon, right, a, a geographical is going to help you moving yeah. away from Liverpool? Yeah. Do you think that's the answer? Yeah. Right, but yeah. Don't, you, don't you think that wherever you go, you're going to take the problem? Oh, yeah, of course. The problem's always going to be with me, but I've just got to stick with it and have the willpower. You know, to touch it where they don't know people down yeah. there. You know, you get drugs everywhere you go, wherever you go. Do you think it's like, I mean? obviously it's people places and things, but do you... Um, because, like, you know, in reality, mate, if you want to use, you'll use. Oh, yeah, of course. So what, yeah. what do you think is going to be different when you go up there? Just the location? Just, yeah, the location, yeah. And um, I just want to get my life back together before it's too late. I'm going to end up fucking dead. I'm going to end up dying three times. Kev, okay, thanks for your time. Just a quick one, right? Because yeah, you've right. been on the streets for years. You yeah, know what it's man. like. You know what it's like in Liverpool. Yeah. You know, is there a lot of professional beggars on the streets? Yes. Is that your experience? Yeah. So you just said some of them have got shops. Yeah, man, some of them have got shops, bungalows and everything. You know, I'm in it, I'm in it, also. You know what I mean? You know, this I'm is gonna... this is hardcore. Kev's, Kev's oh, being on the streets, he's having it. I've been on for years, fucking hell, it's rough, hardcore, mate, it's been as bad. Fucking dead three times of being on the streets, pneumonia, TB, fucking... You've been put in a coma and everything, haven't you? By dealers, yeah. yeah. Put in a coma by dealers because you scored with someone else. Every that, innit? Yeah, bad. You know what, mate? Now, now they're all doing years. <laughs> they're all doing years. Karma. Thanks for your time, right? Well, Take it easy, right? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lewis, Lewis is a bouncer, he works well at Dortmund. Yeah, so what's it like, what's city life like for you in Liverpool? So that, down this end, it's alright, um, it's nice and chilled. When you go down to Portland Square, that's when all the magic happens. It's all, um, it's all charming, you know, it's like the Wild West. It's just all, you know, Portland Square for you, isn't it? That's it, lad. So yeah, city so life, Portland Square. That's where the magic happens. Thanks, Lewis. Get yourself in there, girls, for a bit of Penny Arcade. <laughs> Great Charlotte Street's always booming. All the locals come. Yeah, Lewis's. 